please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. In this lecture, I'm going to talk to you about the domain name hosting and the platform. All right, all platforms nowadays are CMS platforms, which means content management system platforms. And those type of platforms means that you can actually go up there and make the changes yourself. So I'm going to look at that a little bit today as well. In simple terms, domain is like the address of your house. Hosting is like the land in which your house is built on. And the house itself, the building and the utilities are like the platform. So if you think about it in terms of a car, a car can be the domain is the name of the car. The hosting is the chassis of the car, the structure of it. And the engine and the interior is the platform that the car uses. The first thing I want to say to you is this. Do not use free hosting or free domains to build your website. When I say free domains, I don't mean like... Um, Maybe somebody like GoDaddy is, is giving you a free domain and then you're going to pay for the following year. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I mean is it's absolutely free. You're not paying for the domain name. You're never going to pay for domain name. You're never going to pay for hosting. Those kind of platforms can be very dangerous because if they go bust, then you are left with nothing. So you want to be able to pay for your domain and pay for your hosting. What I mean is, it's so inexpensive today that you should absolutely consider paying for your domain and paying for your hosting because it doesn't cost that much, all right? So let's look at some important features that I want to cover in this particular lecture. The other thing to say is that credibility is really important. Here are some examples of some good hosting websites and where you can purchase your domains. They are HostGator, GoDaddy, and Bluehost. Now, I think I learned about Bluehost a while ago, but the company that I've stayed with for the past you know, 10 years that I've been online has been HostGator. I like HostGator because I can call them up. The technical guys are really clued up. They're very friendly. There's no problem that I've called HostGator for that they've not resolved. And they resolve it right on the phone. And if they have to go into your website and make some changes for you, they'll do it. So I'm, <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a fan of HostGator. These three hosting companies, though, are very credible. So Bluehost, HostGator, and GoDaddy. So you can choose whichever one you want to go with. If you're going with an independent who is offering you to build your website and to host your website for you and help you to purchase your domain then make sure that those domains are in your name you have access to it and that they are also registered with one of the credible companies because an independent may have their own servers so if they have their own servers and something happens to their servers then something happens to your website so you really want to consider this very well and go with an established company. That's what I would suggest. The other thing to think about when we talk about the platforms, most of us have heard about WordPress. I think it kind of was one of the first uh, kind of platforms that came out. WordPress is the CMS that your website uses. And there are other companies or there are other CMS platforms that you can use like Drupal, Joomla, uh, Medium, Weebly, there are lots of other ones. But here's the deal. If you are not familiar with Joomla, for example, I suggest don't use it. If you're not familiar with Weebly, I suggest just don't use it. You know, I was, I was reading an article right now that says like, oh, yeah, Joomla is like WordPress. Okay, it's like WordPress, but it's not WordPress. I found WordPress to be the simplest type of platform you can use for your website. Meaning that if you can email and you can text, believe me, you can use a WordPress site. It's that simple. It's really that easy to use because I'm not very technical, but I have built websites and I continue to update my site myself. Once you get going, you're gonna to wanna to make some changes yourself. You're gonna to wanna to put out an article. 
if every time you want to make a change you got to go to your web designer it's going to cost you a fortune you really don't want to do that you want to use a platform that you are accustomed with there are so many tutorials on how to use wordpress or how to change a header how to update there's so much online so my advice to you is use wordpress okay it could be a biased one but that's my advice and then the final thing i would say is when you're starting your website you may have in your mind that oh i really don't want to know how it works i just want somebody to do it and just I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want to know well that's not a good attitude for a start plus that's not true i can tell you for sure that i used to be like that and once you get going once you start paying a designer every time you want to change an image you start thinking to yourself hang on a minute let me go up there and go make the change myself so you've got to use a platform that you can make changes on yourself without needing to go to your web designer every single time you want to make a change there are going to be some complicated things that you are not able to do that you need to seek the expert help yes do so go back to your web designer when the issue is complex but for simple stuff learn to do it yourself because you can so we've covered domains hostings and platforms see you soon